Samaritan stepped in, and Wayne Van Dyne has our report. It may not look like the cat is all that high up, but the tree is on a hillside and it's 100 feet straight down if he falls, which is why the neighbors were so anxious and why, unlike most cat in the tree situations, he couldn't come back down on his own. The city does not respond to these, nor should they, I guess. So it was up to volunteerism, and Chuck Miller from Traffic Control and Maintenance was the good Samaritan who came with a cherry picker. But this has to be a lot tougher than installing a stoplight. There were power lines to worry about, a distance problem, and a very uncooperative cat, Denny. I mean, did he really want to be rescued? Finally, after nailing an extension on the plank, he had the range, had a little cat food, and whoops. Oh, yeah. Come on, Denny. Here, Denny. I mean, he tried everything. But long after most would have given up, he succeeded by retracting the board once the cat began to eat. And soon he was safe. <laughs> Don't let him go. Don't let him go. Yeah. Hey, what are you going to play? Yeah. No better now? Yeah. yeah. Huh? You had him, then you lost him, then you had him. You have a lot of patience. Well, I got a cat out once before in a tree, and it just, they're scared. Mrs. Bell is the actual owner of Denny, and she had words of thanks for Chuck and his generous company, which freed him for the effort. I guess they'll be talking about Denny's rescue in Troy Hill for some time to come.